Shalom. First of all, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. Yahweh being the true, almighty, and powerful name of the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God, and His only begotten Son's name is Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Bahashem meaning in name, and Racha meaning spirit, Kodash is holy. That is what I uttered in the Paleo Hebrew, the ancient Hebrew, which in the Lashwan Kodash, which is the holy tongue. Of course, I, I said double honors. If I slack here, if I didn't say it, but double honors said I was an apostle, that great millstone, peace and salutation, all sincere Achim. Of course, that are risking their lives and their freedom to bring out this Amath, which is the truth of the Bible. This is off of RT News, and it reads White supremacists and their opponents descend on Washington. You have it here. People gather at Freedom Plaza to protest white supremacists. Unite the Wright Valley in downtown Washington, U.S. August 12th, 2018. So we're going, of course, into this whole white supremacy. Right supremacy. Slach, yeah. Now we have to first come across this truth, which, you know, the so-called white man is not white. He's actually red. He lacks melanin within his skin, which is a curse given on to him back when, of course, uh, uh, he was Cain. All right. And, of course, uh, coming um, as Esau. All right. You know, so you're going to go into this uh, term for supremacy. And you have it here, supremacy, an advocate of the supremacy of a particular group, especially one determined by race or sex, white supremacist. Now, you know, it's really Edomite, because the so-called white man, the elites of Esau, Edom, all right, the so-called Jews and such, they are actually Edomites, okay? They're not the righteous, they're not the true biblical Israelites. The true biblical Israelites are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans, whom are being oppressed by this Edomite supremacy. Now reading on it says. Heavy police presence was seen. In a center. Of the U.S. Capitol. As crowds of anti-nationalist protesters. Have gathered to protest. Unite the right valley. Or rally. Slach, yeah, one year after the Charlottesville clashes, which you can go into that particular rally. All right. It says counter protesters have gathered across the or across from the White House in Lafayette Park in Washington D.C. to oppress or oppose slach, yeah, I mean, excuse me, to oppose the white nationalists. Uh, of course, you go into nationalists. Of course, they believe in their country and such. Um, let me see. We can go into it more. Get a better definition, actually. Person who advocates political independence for a country. It says a person with a strong patriotic feelings, especially one who believes superiority of their country over others. Now, which, you know, a lot of these Edomite American, so-called Americans. All right. Which they stole this land from the original inhabitants, which uh, were in the Northern Kingdom, Hebrew Israelites, so called Latinos and Native Americans. Now, of course, they, of course, claim, you know, they're all about this nation, which they stole it. Okay? Which, um, you know, you could, of course, read that in the, the book of Psalms, the 49th chapter, I believe the 11th verse. Now, going on, it says that. Has approved to take place in the U.S. Capitol on Sunday afternoon. Many demonstrators were seen carrying so signs saying shut down white supremacy or Edomite supremacy really. And chanting no KKK, no fascist USA. I mean that goes into I believe the Antifas if I'm not mistaken. Um, it says we will be here until these fascist forces are gone. However long it takes a protester. Now you got it here. You see the different signs here. The different protesters. Which I mean that's biblical prophecy. The different uproars of the people. Okay. 
It says, Unite the Right demonstrators have been seen gathering outside of the U.S. Co uh, Capitol. All right, so you have all these different people coming across, or coming together, Slachia, okay, against uh, so-called white supremacy. But really, I mean, are they for this the, the Israelites, okay? No, you know, in most cases, not at all, all right? Because this uh, place is under gross gar darkness. You can see a little bit of the different um, videos which they have here of the actual protest. It says the authorities had promised a numerous police presence to keep white supremacists and counter protesters apart to avoid brawls. It says buses carry the Unite the Right protesters are being escorted by double lines of police cars in a line. A motorcycle police now I mean all these people they're not really going to get going for the, the true truth all right that the, the so-called white men entirely need to be brought down all right he needs to of course held himself accountable for what he has done to this planet all right which is nothing but great robbery and destruction primarily to there's lights okay you have here uh, these different protesters, uh, flowers, not Nazis, you know, feminine stuff. All right, you got this different, you know, these uh, different Black Lives Matter, which we're not black people. You got these different rallies with, you know, different Edomites, which they're set up and such. They say here, uh, here it says the event in Charlottesville was attended by Susan Bro, the mother of Heather Hather, who was killed. When a Unite the Right demonstrator plowed his car into a crowd of protester, counter protesters. You know, so, I mean, you got, this is literally like, you know, different type of terrorism and such. And they don't make a big deal out of this, you know. But when Jake go out there, of course, and um, say he's a Hebrew Israelite and he's doing the work on the corner, you know, uh, you know, these Edomites are making a big ruckus out of it, you know. They want us really put down. It says we have a huge ra racial problem in our city, in our country. We have to fix it. This or we'll be right back here in no time. And the, the only way we're going to fix this is, of course, the so-called white man, was Esau Edom, going to slavery. We Yahweh Shah, of course, come back and bring down his judgment. All right. Now we're going to go into some scriptures. This is going to be the book of Genesis, the 11th chapter. Start at the first verse. It says, it says, And the whole earth was of one language and one speech. Alright. Reading on. It says, And it came to pass, as they journeyed from the east, they found a plain in the land of Shinar, and they dwelt there. It says, and, and they said one to another, Go, let us make brick and burn through the, them thoroughly. Thoroughly, and they had a brick for stone and slime for they for mortar. And they said, Go, let us build a city, us a city and a tower whose top may reach the heaven. Unto the heaven. It says, And let us make a name, lest we be gathered abroad about the face of the earth. Face of the whole earth. Slach, yeah. It says, And the Lord came down to the city and the tower which the children of men built it. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language, and this they begin to do, and now nothing will restrain from them. Which they have imagined to do. Go to. Go to Isaki. And it says let us go down. And confound their language. That they may not understand another one's speech. So the Lord. Yahweh scattered them abroad. From thence upon the face of all the earth. And left off. To build the city. Therefore it. Is the name of it called Babel. Which means confusion. Because the Lord Yahweh did confound the language of all the earth, and from thence did the Lord scatter them abroad upon all the face of the earth. 
Now, of course, the Lord, you know, this whole point is that the Lord is not with all people coming together. All right. The Lord, of course, divided, you know, all people. OK, when you go into it, um, I could get a quick precept. This is going to be the book of Deuteronomy. Might be the 32nd chapter. This is Deuteronomy 32 and 8. And it reads, When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. All right, so the Lord has divided the nations, all right? Of course, you know, you have to understand, going down here, the Lord's people, this is Deuteronomy 32 and 9, For Yahweh's portion is his people, Yaquab or Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. And Jacob, that's the nation of Israel. All right, his name Jacob is changed to Israel later. And of course, that is the, the real biblical Israelites. All right, not the modern ones that are here, you know, occupying uh, Israel. They're not the Israelites. All right, they're Jewish people, converts and such when you go into it. All right, and they're behind all of these different, like, you know, these different black. Live matters and all these different movements and such, which are not are false. Okay, because we're not black people. All right, though, you know the Israelites originally had, of course, uh, dark skin. All right, we of course since we were scattered, we we look like you know every every nation upon the earth. All right, now I got my another precept. This is uh, Nahum 3 and 10. And it says, um, Yet was she carried away. She went into captivity. Her young children also were dashed in pieces at the top of all the streets. And who's that? You know, the nation of Yashallah that went, of course, into captivity. All right. Of course, for our disobedience. Okay. And they get dashed at the top of pieces, get put to death, you know, by all these Edomite cops and such. All right. Who are against us, alright? It says, And they cast lots for her honorable men, and all her great men were bound in chains, you know, going in slavery, put in jails, alright? You know, here today, okay? It says, Thou also shalt be drunken, thou shalt be hid, thou also shalt seek strength because of the enemy. And I mean, us, you know, we, we, of course, seeking Yahweh Shem Hashad today, you know, because first of all, there's no no strength in nobody else. Okay, you know the so-called white man, you know, he uh, ruling, you know, in rick wickedness, oppressing. You know the the, the people, you know the, the the children of Israel, they're not known in the streets because of the so-called white man. All right, oppressing our heritage, you know, a man in his heritage and such. All right, and this is all wickedness. Go to another scripture. This is Proverbs eleven and eleven. It says, "By the blessing of the upright, the city is exalted." You know, so the blessing of the upright. You know, and the uh, so-called white man who is Esau Edom. All right, you know they're not they're not blessed. Okay, people are coming against them. Their own people, Egypt against Egypt. Read on, but it is overthrown by the mouth of the wicked. So a city, a city is uh, of course uh, blessed, you know, due to upright, but but it's overthrown due to the mouth of the wicked. And you see that the wicked, the so-called white man, who is Esau Edom. Read, of course, Malachi one and four. All right, they're the border of wicked. You know, they are the wicked. You know, wherever they are, multi uh, evils is multiplied. Okay, you see their, their kingdom going down, all right, by, even by their own mouths, okay? A lot of truthers is bringing out a lot of, you know, truth out on this, on this system, all right? The last precept I'm going to go actually into, um, let me see, actually I had some more stuff, but let me see if I had, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to bring this out. This is, uh, second edges the sixth chapter, all right? 
I mean, the the end all is what 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 do we really want? You know, you know what 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 is the real end all? All right, the end all is a so called white man getting put out of in, out of leadership. All right, this is Second Edgar six chapter in the Prophet. All right, which is part of the original King James Bible says. Uh, second Edgar six and six it says then did I consider these things, they. All were made through me alone and through none other, and by also they shall be ended, and by none other. And that's through, uh, of course, uh, Yahweh Bashem Shai, of course, Yahweh Shai, of course, um, given, of course, the blueprint from Yahweh, and through Yahweh Shai, you know, coming back, you know, he's coming back to, you know, get the kingdom, all right, establish this righteousness. It says, then answer I and said, what shall be the part in asunder of the times are when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, and this is, of course, uh, I believe an angel talking to uh, Ezra, who's a prophet. And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, and when Jacob and Esau were born unto him, Jacob held is held first the heel of Esau for Esau is the end of the world and Esau if you can understand they're the Edomites all right waste away is he that's what Esau means Ash Ashashua in the Hebrew um of course they of course are the end of this this uh current age and such all right it says for Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Alright. So Esau of course is ruling right now. And he's coming down right now. Right. And the, the next the next uh, rulership. Is going to be through the Israelites. So called Negroes, Latinos and the Americans. And you can see. You know a lot of Israelites. You know of course are going to be a part of these different. Um, uproars against the people. Uproars of people. All right, because of all the injustice that's going and occurring in this world. All right, but this is only biblical prophecy, and so that you know that so-called white man is going doomed. All right, simple as that. It says, "For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of folly." And that's it. All right. So, with that, I'm just gonna close out. And say, call halayim la yahu ba shem yashai ba shem rechak kodash and double honors to the elders and apostles of that great millstone. All right, this kingdom is going down. White, uh, so-called Edomite supremacy is going down because, first of all, um, they're they're weaker than Jacob. Simple as that. Esau is weak. Read Genesis. With that, I'm gonna say shalom.